Well, folks, in uh, another edition of our government's taking care of us, I had to take yet another carburetor off my four-wheeler because I didn't run it all season. Got a chainsaw up there. Just threw away a weed eater. Uh, this carburetor was new maybe a year, year and a half ago. Um, you can see the sediment in the bottom of the bowl. The needle was literally frozen in the seat. I had to pry it out. I actually broke it getting it out. Uh, the floats on this one were stuck shut. I couldn't get any fuel in it. Um, this is what alcohol does to um, our modern equipment. I got a chainsaw that I've put several fuel lines in. The fuel lines literally get eaten up by alcohol. Obviously, um, fuel sits in there for a while on the chainsaw and the weed eater had two stroke oil in there so it kind of prevents it from plugging up unlike the four stroke but the alcohol eats the hoses um, that's why we don't run pure alcohol auto automobiles in the united states because our equipment isn't made for pure ethanol fuel and it will eat the rubber lines and o-rings and all the components in your system and uh, then your car won't run. So we're throwing away tons of plastic and metal and junk that is perfectly good because of this situation here. If you're a small engine repair guy, I am sure you're spending most of your time cleaning out jets, cleaning out carburetors, cleaning out gunk and replacing lines. And you don't make nearly enough money to re go replace the product. Um, so we just end up throwing it away. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. I like to fix my stuff and keep it for a long time. This really gets frustrating. Again, this is my second carburetor. Good thing is, China just copies all the stuff and uh, reverse engineers it, and I can get it for 60 bucks. So here's $60 worth of aluminum I am going to recycle, along with another box up there, uh, because I'm trying to, to preserve our stuff. 